Hello, Mrs. Hotchkiss here. This year we will be using Glockster EDU in our classroom. You may be asking yourself, what is Glockster? Glockster is a web 2.0 platform that allows users to upload photos, videos, text, audio, and more to create a unique online interactive poster. The Glockster EDU version is a secure, private, and safe platform that can be monitored directly by teachers. This learning tool can be integrated with several subjects, including math, science, history, technology, art, photography, music, and many, many more. Now, I've already created a teacher account and set up sub-accounts for all of my students. Right now, those accounts are very generic. The purpose of this video is to lead you, my wonderful students, through the first login of your Glockster EDU accounts. You will need your generic nicknames, passwords, and first login links that I will give you the first week of school before you can continue. And they're going to look like this. I'm going to give each of you a slip, slip of paper with special information. Um, this is the one that I'm going to use an ex as an example, but all of you are going to have a special nickname, a special password, and a special link that you're only going to use the very first time you log into Glogster. So now I'm going to lead you through the process using this as an example, and remember that yours is going to be a little bit different. Before we get started, you need to open your internet browser and type the first login link into the web address bar. So this is my first login link. I'm going to delete the address that's right here. And I'm going to type in my first login link exactly as it appears. And I'm going to double check what I've typed up here to make sure that it matches what I have on my first login link. And then I'm going to hit enter. And this takes you to your dashboard for the first time. And as you can see, it's very simple. There's not a lot of stuff. There's a little teddy bear picture. Um, there's not a lot of information. When you're ready, you, you can begin to customize your profile. And the first thing that I'm going to show you how to do is to add your first and last names so your classmates can recognize you more easily. You're going to go to the top of the screen and you're going to click Edit My Profile. When, this when these little boxes pop up, you're going to type your first name and your last name. I'm just going to pick a name that doesn't really exist in our classroom. You're going to indicate whether or not you are male or female, and you can add your birthday if you want to. Um, it's not going to show up on your actual profile, the date of your birthday, but it will tell your classmates how old you are. If you like, it, when you're on your home computer, you can change your photo, um, so or you can keep the teddy bear. That's up to you. You can change this little box right here. Mine says it's a beautiful day. And then on the bottom of, of the screen, you can customize your interests and tell your classmates about your lifestyle, um, your favorite music, your favorite movies and TV. If you play any sports, you can tell your classmates about it. And once you've added all of that information, you click Save Changes. And you should see this green bar up here that says Properties Have Been Changed. Another thing you can do is you can change your password. This password right here is not very easy to remember, so I would like to change my password to one that is simple. So you click on Account Settings at the top right, and you're going to need to type that password that I first gave you. Then you select a new password, and you re-enter that password, and the purpose of that is to make sure that you've entered it correctly, and then you click Change Password. I recommend changing your password to your lunch number because it's one that you use every day and it's harder for you to forget it. And then you can view, click on view your profile at the top right and that will show you the changes that you have made. And see it says, hi, Sally Student, because that's the name that I selected. So your name will show up there and your name will show up here. And if you added a picture, your new picture will be right here. And in parentheses, you can see that you still have that nickname that I originally gave you, and that's going to stay the same. 
On your screen, you're going to see who your teacher is, and you see that Mrs. Hodgkiss is listed as your teacher. And as your, your um, classmates begin to customize their profiles, you'll see their changed pictures and their names pop up in this section right here, and you can click on any of your classmates and see their profiles that they created. So that's how we log in to Glogster for the very first time. So when you're finished, you can click Log Out at the top right screen. Now that's how you're going to log in only the first time. From now on, the way you log, log in is going to be more similar to the way that you're used to now. You're going to type in your nickname and your password. So you go to the Glogster website, you type in edu.glogster.com. Notice there is no www. Might be helpful to save this to your favorite bar or bookmark it just so you don't have to type in that web address every time. And this is the Glogster homepage. So from now on, every time we log in, we're going to go to the top right of the Glogster homepage and we're going to click Log In. In this box, you're going to type your nickname, not your real first and last name, but that, that first nickname that I gave you. And then you're going to type your password. Now, if you changed your password, you're going to type in that password. Um, if you didn't change your password, you're going to type in this original password here. And you're going to click Log In. Oops. Let's try again. and that takes you to your dashboard and your original profile. And that's how we sign in to Glogster for the first time, and then how we sign in to Glogster for the rest of the school year. Happy glogging!